So in this video, we're going to be loading content in a very interesting way. We're going to be animating. Everybody loves animations. We're going to be animating the um, swap of our content. So um, HMX gives you a way to use CSS transitions in a very smooth way without writing any JavaScript. You just use HTML and CSS transitions. We're going to be seeing how to animate uh, using um, HTMX. So with the demo we're going to be doing in this video, we're going to be making a box grow so a box is going to grow from a small box to a big box so let's begin let's begin let's not talk too much so uh we first have our um div we'll give it an id i'm going to call it growing box so a div a div with an id of growing box and um, i'm going to give it a class that's going to be the class we're going to use to define the css animation we're going to call this class grow so our box is going to grow uh and its default styles will be that it will have a height of 100 pixel and a width also of 100 pixel and the background color the background color we set that to red set the background color to red and inside i'm just going to write small box i'm going to write small box inside. small box. i'm going to write small box inside so here's our small box let's let's take a look at it in our browser um refresh this click on animating content and we have our small box so this is our small box and we're going to grow it into a big box and that growth is going to be animated yeah super cool so to make the animation um this box is going to call an endpoint so we start our h axis. So we say h x um let's say get checks get point it to our endpoints as our server local host one three three zero four slash I'm just gonna go big box. Yeah. I'm going to create an endpoint called big box and that's what is going to cause our box to grow. So we have this and um, two other things that we need to do. Two other things that we need to do. Is it two things? No, let's do the first one first. So we first have to make sure that this swap, the swap is outer HTML because we want to replace the entire thing with the new big box HTML. So outer HTML. So yeah, that'll be our HX swap. And yeah, I think that's it. So, so yeah, we have everything here. This box when clicked is definitely going to trigger this request. Now let's define this grow class so let's define it let's go into our head create a style open the style uh tag and then we're going to say the class grow let's give it a transition property transition property and here we'll say we want to transition all that's everything that is going to change we want to make sure that that happens in one second and the animation effect we want to use is ease in. We want it to ease in. So yeah, we have this grow class. Now, the trick to animation is that this ID needs to stay consistent between the two, um, the two, the, the the current state of the box and the new state of the box that is going to be coming from the server. So that this ID needs to stay consistent. That is the trick. Uh, yeah. So um. We're going to be returning a new version of this box which is bigger and hmx is going to is going to animate that that uh, transition so i'm just going to copy this small box i'm going to copy the entire small box uh, i'm going to go to the server and here we'll create a new endpoint we said it's going to be a get so let's make sure it's a get and that endpoint is called big box do all the boilerplate stuff for the request handler and now we can say res.send and uh, within here i'm just going to paste everything i copied from the front because i'm returning a, another version of the box but a bigger one so we keep the id consistent leave the class um the, now the height is going to be let's say let's say 300 no not 3000 <laughs> sorry so height and width go to 300 to 300 pixel height now 300 pixel width the background color let's leave it as red we don't need this uh two the hx get an hx swap because those are front end stuff so we don't need those and i'm going to change this text to big box so that we know that yeah the big box the big box is in so 
we have the div we maintain the id we kept the class and uh, but what what is mainly changing is the style the height and width are changing and we've already told the css class to you know animate everything everything that is changing on the box so this is what we're going to return and now let us restart our server because we changed stuff change stuff on the server um let's make sure that our big box yeah let's make sure that we're pointing to the right place is a get request now let's test this out the moment of truth has come so let's refresh this hard refresh it so we have our small box um now this a click is going to trigger this request so let's click and watch what happens hope nothing goes wrong and it grew but that was fast yeah that wasn't what we expected we wanted it to like ease in in one second that was too fast so we didn't get our animation for some reason let's check what the problem might be let's go to our front end let's see if everything is what oh my god uh, outer html <laughs> oh my god simple simple things yeah i just need something will go wrong this animation very very sensitive okay let's try that again let's try that again let's hope it works this time so we refresh we change i wrote our html for some reason now after html html let us click this yep yeah yeah that is a satisfying feeling that's a satisfying feeling let's do it again let's do it again it's really cool oh do it again like lion king do it again uh let's do it again yep so it changes from small box to big box and it eases in the uh the, the transition pretty smooth let's see if we can change let's let's see if we can change the color let's see if we can give it a different color let's go to the back end and let's say instead of red make this blue yeah make this blue you definitely need to restart the server again let's not forget that we don't want any more errors so let's see if it can make it blue instead of just growing it let's make it blue so oh yeah i'm just refreshing let me click Woo! wow that is smooth that is smooth Let, let's do it again that is smooth you see you see you see the like different faces of colors it got to before it changed to blue that, that's just so satisfying so yeah that is how to uh, animate content into your page uh basically what you do is um define your css properties uh with a class uh make sure that the id between the um current state and the state that is coming from the server is the same only the uh front end needs hx get and uh hx swap yeah so you don't need that in the back end also make sure that you set this to outer html that is very very important don't do like me don't set it to our html for some reason <laughs> can't understand but yeah that's 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 how to animate in hmx and it's just so pleasing and so satisfying